All right, welcome back to Friday Briefing. Thank you so much for staying with us. Those who are joining us, good evening and welcome to the show this evening. All right, now, Uhuru Secondary School is the second school after Aquinas High School to go down in flames in Nairobi County in the latest spate of school fires. The school's only dormitory was touched today mid-morning and police are already holding two boys in connection with the inferno. Our Brian Obuya reports. Okay. The boys would have proceeded to their fourth lesson of the day sometime after 11 a.m., but that was before smoke started billowing from their only dormitory. Teachers and students being forced to interrupt their third lesson of the day to put out the fire. It was not until the fire was put out two hours later with the help of the Nairobi Fire Brigade that the extent of the inferno would come to be realized. <laughs> While the cause of the fire was not immediately identified, teachers here have handed to police two students, a Form 4 and a Form 1 student. The Form 4 student was undertaking punishment opposite the dormitory, while the Form 1 had been sent out of class for failing to complete a class assignment and asked to head to the staff room. Instead, he chose the dormitory area. However, investigations are now being conducted to identify what exactly took place. Uhuru Secondary School becomes the latest school to be raised down, but no student unrest was reported before the fire that raised the dormitory that houses 394 students. Since this year began, more than 40 schools have witnessed unrest compared to some 67 schools last year. In 2016, some 239 cases of arson were reported in schools. This year there has been substantial improvement on managing unrest, which are usually a challenge in our second term. The Education Ministry has since ordered principals to file daily reports of their schools for security reasons, even as Permanent Secretary Belio Kipsang insists KCSE examinations will go on as planned. Structures have been put in place to ensure the integrity of examinations this year meets the expectations of the Kenyan people. Ryan Obuya, KTN News.